in this video we will look at what are real time systems what are real time processes and how they are scheduled so real time systems are event driven in nature that means these systems they are waiting for an event in real time to occur and this event may be a software event like when a timer expires or it may may be a hardware event like a remote controlled vehicle which detects an approaching obstruction so whenever an event occurs the system is supposed to respond to that event and service it as quickly as possible at the earliest so now for this to happen the scheduler which will be scheduling these real time events it must support preemptive priority based scheduling because if the system is non preemptive then it will not preempt a running process that means it will not take away the cpu from a running process and give to the real time process also the real time process is a priority process it has to be serviced as quickly as possible so the system must support priority based scheduling now these real time systems they can be of two types broadly soft or hard in the soft real time system the critical real time tasks they will have the highest priority so any real time process that is coming in it will have the highest priority but there is no guarantee as to when that task will be scheduled so the guarantee the system will guarantee only that process will be given preference over the non critical processes so it is sure that the real time system which has arrived it will be given the highest priority but no guarantee as to when it will be scheduled in hard real time systems the system takes the guarantee that the incoming real time process will definitely be serviced before its deadline now if the system services the process after the deadline has expired that means no service has been performed so in a hard real time system it the system will make sure that the process is serviced before its deadline now suppose an event occurs at time t0 and by the time the real time system responds to this event it takes time t1 so this the time that has elapsed from the time that the event occurs to the time that it was serviced is referred to as the event latency so this was the latency the real time process or the event occurred at time t0 but by the time it was serviced the time was t1 so this is the latency of a real time system and it should be as minimum as possible and different events have different latency requirements real time processes they are considered to be periodic that means if a real time process has come at a particular time say let's say 0 then it will come again after some period p then again it will arrive in the system after another period of p and so on and it will require the cpu at constant intervals so after each period when it arrives in the system it will require the processor let us suppose that this real time process which has arrived it requires a time t that means the cpu will be required for this process for time t next time when it comes after a period of p again it will require the processor for time t again after it returns in a period p it will again require the process processor for time t and so on also suppose that the real time process which has arrived in the system has a deadline of d that means this process has to be given the cpu before this deadline expires if it is not given the cpu 
that means the deadline has been missed and that results in the process not being serviced. As can be seen, the CPU time will be less than the time which is its deadline and that D would be less than the time at which it will arrive again that means the period. So, 0 will be less than the time that is required by the process for the CPU which again will be less than its deadline and the deadline would be less than the period time and we refer to the rate of a periodic task as 1 upon p. So, whatever is the period, the inverse of that is referred to as the rate of the real time process. Now, the process once it enters the system, it will have to announce its deadline requirements to the scheduler and now the scheduler has an algorithm which is referred to, to as the admission control algorithm. So, based upon the deadline requirement, the scheduler will done will be doing one of the following things. Either it will admit the process or it will reject the process. Why? In which case will it admit the process? Only when the system can guarantee that the process will be completed on time. That means before its deadline, then only will it admit the process in the system. But if the scheduler feels that it cannot guarantee that the task will be serviced before its deadline, then it will uh, reject the request. So, how these real time processes will be scheduled, we will take a look in further lectures.